Hi guys, it's Jessica from Psychedelic Doilies. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet my dragon gloves. Now in a blog post, and normally I would use this um, lovely unforgettable yarn, uh, but today so that you can see the stitches a little better, I'm going to be using Red Heart Soft in wheat. So what you'll need to get started is a H hook, a five millimeter hook, and any worsted weight yarn will do just fine. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain 24. So make a slip stitch, insert your hook, and start chaining. One, two, three, four, five, and I'll meet you when I get to the end of my 24. All right, we have our 24 chains, and what we're gonna do is, careful not to twist our chain, we are going to insert our hook in that very first chain we made, and just create a slip stitch to connect our loop together. So, what I like to do at this point, it's not very technical, but I like to just put this chain loop around my four fingers, and if that fits pretty comfortably, then your glove's gonna probably be uh, a great fit. If this is too tight or too loose, you might want to adjust your tension or go up or down a hook size. So for our first row, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet in every stitch around. Um, and I like to work over my, my little dangling end here on the way around. That way I don't have to do that later. So single crochet around your loop, uh, and at the end you should have 24 single crochets. So I'll meet you when I get back to the end of this row. All right, I have my 24 single crochets, and then I'm just going to join this again with a slip stitch to that first single crochet that I made. Now we're going to, for row two, we're going to chain three. And this is going to count as a double crochet and a chain one. And then we're going to double crochet in that same space. And this creates our first V stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, do a V stitch in the next stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And we're gonna continue in this pattern all the way around, working a V stitch, chain one, skip stitch, double crochet, chain one, skip stitch, V stitch, all the way around. And this creates the foundation row for our dragon scales. So um, I'll meet you when I get back to the end of this row. Okay, I'm at the end of my foundation row. I've just finished with a double crochet stitch, chain one, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the second stitch of that starting chain three that we did to connect it. So your foundation row will have six V stitches around and it'll have six double crochet stitches in between with those skipped stitches and chain ones in between each stitch. Now the crocodile stitch or the uh, dragon tears stitch is a two row repeat and this is the first row every time the foundation row with these V stitches and double crochets. Okay now we're going to chain one and we're going to start our dragon scale row. We're going to work five double crochets around the post of the front part of this V stitch here. So we're going to go behind and I end I turn mine sideways like this because this is easier. So one, two, three, four, five. So we've worked five double crochets around that first post of the V stitch, so we have half of our dragon scale done now. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this other post over here of our V stitch. So five double crochets 
one, two, three, four, and five. And our first dragon scale is done. Um, some people do a chain one between these two sides, but I don't. Uh, it will make it a little pointier on the tip. Um, so if you would like that, that's an option. So now this double crochet here, we're going to slip stitch behind it. So we're going to go behind it and then just work a slip stitch. And this just makes the whole thing a little tighter looking and less gaping in between our scales. And now we're going to do this dragon scale stitch again here, the same as we did the first time. We're going to do five double crochets around this post and then five double crochets around this post. And we're going to uh, continue in this manner all the way around doing dragon scales in our V-stitches and slip stitching behind our double crochet um, posts here. So I'm going to come back to you when I've worked all of my dragon scale stitches all the way around. Okay, I finished my row of dragon scales. There are six dragon scales all the way around. And then to finish this row, I'm going to slip stitch into this last double crochet post here. I know the other ones we slip stitched behind them, but for this last one, we're gonna go straight into the stitch and work a slip stitch. Now it's time to do our foundation row again so that we can do another round of dragon scales. But last time we worked our foundation row in this single crochet row in the beginning. So this time it's gonna be a little different. First, we're gonna work a V stitch. So we're gonna chain three and we're gonna double crochet in the same space that we slip stitched into, which is that double crochet post below us. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to work our double crochet into the center of this dragon scale which was actually our V stitch from our foundation row. So double crochet in the center of your dragon scale. Now chain one. Now we're going to work a V stitch in this double crochet that's between the two scales so let me peel back my scales here so you can see. See that post down there? That's what we're going into. Um, and your hook will find its place. It may be a little difficult to see, but the hook knows where to go. So we're gonna work a V-stitch here. So we're gonna continue in this pattern all the way around. Chain one, put a double crochet in the top of the scale, chain one, put a V-stitch in between the scales in that double crochet post that's hidden underneath. So we're gonna continue in that alternating pattern all the way around for our foundation row. I'll do one more for you. We're gonna work a double crochet stitch in the middle of our scale, chain one, and then a V-stitch in between those two scales in that double crochet post below. Whoop, I got caught on my yarn. It happens. Chain one, continue all the way around, and I'll come back when I have finished my foundation row. All right, I've finished my foundation row again, and to join it, we're gonna slip stitch into that second chain of that starting chain three that we did. Um, and then next, we're going to do another dragon scale row. So you're going to continue um, this two-row repeat until you have five finished dragon scale rows. And then we're going to change it up a little bit because then we have to make our thumb hole. So I will be back when I have my five finished dragon scale rows. Okay, we finished our five rows of dragon scales. Um which puts us at row, or I should say round, 12 of our pattern. And now we're gonna create our thumb hole, and it's very easy. First, let's slip stitch to join that last row. And we're gonna chain six. Well, my yarn's catching again. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then we're going to double crochet in the center of this first scale here. So we've created this loop and that is where our thumb is going to go in our finished blanket. Now we're going to continue our regular foundation row all the way around, working a chain one or a V stitch in the double crochet that's between our two scales. Chain one, double crochet in the center of that next scale, chain one, and we're going to continue all the way around until we get back to this beginning and we're not going to join this row so I will meet you back here. Okay we're at the end of row 12 starting into row 13 but this is not a joined row so it just kind of works seamlessly. So remember row 12 we started with this chain 6 here that's our thumb hole and then we worked our foundation row around, alternating double crochets and V-stitches. And now we've worked our last double crochet in the center of this last scale. And now we're going to work two double crochets in this space here, in this left side of this scale. Um, so just kind of find a place. It doesn't really matter. One, two... So there's our double crochet in the center of that scale, and then I've worked two others in the side of the scale. Now I'm going to work a double crochet in each of these six chains that we made for our thumb hole. So we're just going to double crochet right up the chain. This creates a nice um, covering of our thumb knuckle, right? This nice little piece here of our thumb. Okay, so we've crocheted in each of those six chains, and then we're going to do a double crochet in the top of this double crochet post, also right into that stitch. And now to finish row 13, we're going to do a dragon scale row. And it looks strange because our stitches are way up here and it looks like we should be working along this space, but we're actually going to work down here right into this V-stitch and do a dragon scale. And we're going to do a dragon scale row all the way around until we get back to where we started. So five double crochets in one side and then five double crochets up the other side and we're going to continue five scales around and when we get back to here I'll meet you. Okay we've just finished this last scale in row 13 and now we're moving on to row 14 which is another um, row without a, a proper join. So you just have to know that you're at the end of row 13 with this last scale and moving on to row 14. Now this uh, row confuses people sometimes so I'm going to clear that up for you. We're going to skip this first double crochet and then we're going to single crochet in the next nine stitches. So we're going to single crochet all across the tops of these double crochets that we made last time. All the way across. Okay, there's our last double crochet. Then we're gonna work a single crochet in the top. Now we're gonna work a single crochet on the right side of this scale in the center and then again on the left side. And where your hook actually goes is your chain one space from your foundation row. So single crochet on the right side, single crochet in the center, and then we're going to single crochet on the right side again. Now this is where people get confused though. So there's a single crochet in the center of each scale, but then in between the scales 
you have to work three single crochets. And those, see our double crochet down here? Those are worked in our chain one, double crochet, chain one space that we used in our foundation row. So right here is a chain one space, which works into the left side of that scale. And then in the center, we have our double crochet. We're gonna single crochet into it. And then again, here is another single crochet. So we have worked three, one, two, three, in between our scales. And then we're gonna single crochet in the center of our next scale. And then we're gonna do the same thing again. Single crochet in that chain one space, single crochet in that double crochet, single crochet in that chain one space, and then in the center of our scale. So we're gonna to continue to do that all the way around until we get back to the beginning. Okay, we're at the end of round 15, and we're going to work this our last single crochet in the left side of this last scale. And then we're going to slip stitch to our first single crochet of the row. So we're going to join this round with a slip stitch. Okay, now we're on to row 15. We're going to chain three and double crochet in the same space. And this is actually creating a V stitch that we're gonna come back to later. It's a little difficult to see, but I'll make sure that you see it. Now we're gonna double crochet in the next 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, and nine. I think I missed one, but I'm just going to keep going. So now, actually, I made a mistake. <laughs> Let me back that up. We need to get to the center of that scale. We have to go nine. 10 there that gets us to the center of that scale all right now we're going to do another modified foundation row we've done our 10 double crochets along this section that's taken us to the center of the scale now we're going to chain one skip a stitch v stitch in between our two scales so this is similar to the very first foundation row we did where we worked into single crochets. That's what we're gonna do here. Chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet. Chain one, skip a stitch, V stitch in between those other scales. So we're gonna do this all the way around working this foundation row of alternating V stitches and double crochets into this single crochet row that we just made. So I will meet you back when we get to the other side. Okay, we're at the end of round 15 and we're gonna join here to the second chain of that beginning chain three that we made. Now, this is gonna be difficult to see later, but we're, we need to not forget that this is actually a V stitch here that we made. So chain one and then we're going to single crochet two together five times so one two three four Five. So we did five, two single crochet togethers, and then we're going to work one single crochet in this last double crochet stitch. And now we're going to work a dragon scale into the V-stitch. We're going to just go straight in to a dragon scale row, five double crochets here, five double crochets here, 
slip stitch all the way around until we get back to the beginning and I'll meet you there. Okay, we're at the end of round 16 and this is where I wanted to make sure you didn't miss this last V stitch because it doesn't really look like a V stitch. So slip stitch behind this last post and then work that last scale in this V stitch um, that's at the beginning of this row of double crochets. So make sure not to miss that sixth scale. It's a little difficult to see. So we're working five double crochets on the right post of the scale. And then turning it and five double crochets on this other post of the scale. Three, four, and five. Now this is another row where we don't have a proper join, but we have finished round 16, and now we're gonna move on to round 17, which is a single crochet round. So we're gonna single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna crochet into this chain one space that's on the right side of our scale. We're gonna single crochet in the center of our scale. And remember in row 14, we worked three single crochets between center scales. Well, this time we're only going to work two. So we're gonna skip this double crochet in the center, but we're gonna do a single crochet in this chain one space, and then a single crochet on this chain one space, and then again, a single crochet in the center of our scale. So that's one, two, three, four single crochets, one in each center and two in between. So we're gonna do that all the way around in the chain one spaces and the center. You wanna be careful not to do this row too tight or uh, it, your glove may not fit correctly. Apologize for bumping my camera and then single crochet in that last scale and then on the last side here which can be difficult to see and kind of grasp at so just kind of get in there in the last left side of that last scale and then slip stitch to join your first single crochet which brings us straight to round 18, which is gonna be the start of our granny stitch rows. So we're gonna chain three, which counts as double crochet, and we're gonna work two double crochets in that same space, making our first granny stitch. Then we're gonna skip a stitch, and we're gonna work three double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three. Again, skip a stitch, work three double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three. And we're gonna do that all the way around, creating uh, these granny stitches all the way around. Okay, we've done our 10 granny stitches all the way around. And now we're gonna join to that second chain of our starting chain three that we did. And then we're gonna do another granny stitch row, but instead of working into the single crochets like we did last time, we're gonna be working in these spaces in between our other granny stitches. So chain three to start. And then just go straight down into this space between this stitch and this stitch. And do two 
double crochets. And then do three double crochets in the space between those two stitches. One, two, three. And we're going to do that all the way around till we get back to the beginning. And then we'll slip stitch to join in our chain three here. And we'll do the same thing again. And this is the, the forearm section of your dragon glove. So you can do as many rows as you like. I normally do about 13 rows of the granny stitch if I want the gloves to stop sort of mid forearm. But if you want it to be longer, maybe up to your elbows, then I would do maybe 18 rows of granny stitch. But however long you decide to make your glove, just keep going with your granny stitch. And when you get it the length that you want, I will show you how to finish your glove. Okay, for the purposes of this tutorial, I've only done three dragons, not dragon scales, sorry, granny stitch rows. Uh, but like I said, you can make this portion as long as you'd like. But I want to show you how to finish off your gloves with a simple chain three pico row. So we've joined to this beginning granny stitch from the row below. Now we're going to work three single crochets. So one, two, and th three. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to slip stitch back down into that same stitch, that same single crochet we just made. Work a slip stitch, and that creates our little pico there. And then we're going to do the same thing again, single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then we're going to work our little pico. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch down into the same stitch below us. And Voila! Again, three single crochets. One, two, three, and then we'll do a chain three. One, two, three, and slip stitch back down into that same stitch. So we're going to do that all the way around and it's going to give this fun little added detail to the very tops of our gloves which makes it a little extra dragony. And that's it. That's your finished glove. You can see our thumb hole here. I'm gonna to try to slip it on for you real quick. I know this is not a great view, but I'm just gonna slip my hand right in there. And you can see the thumb works perfectly in this space. So that's it, that's your finished dragon scale glove. Now, I used Red Heart Soft for this tutorial, which makes this glove a little bulkier than my typical gloves. Like I said, normally I would use the Red Heart Unforgettable. It's also a medium weight, but it's really on the thinner side, so it creates a sleeker glove, a little less bulky. And also, the colorways are beautiful and they work up gorgeous. So, thank you for joining me in my Dragon Glove tutorial. I hope this has helped and has cleared up some of the questions that you guys have had. You can find the pattern uh, on my website, psychedelicdoolies.com, or in my shop. You can get the paid uh, free, not free, you can get the paid printable version. Anyway, bye guys.